Hi. So you have probably been searching for how to hook up your lights to the JK if you have stumbled upon this video. I took forever to find exactly where to hook them up because I took these lights out of my TJ. I have the harness and I've got the red and the green wire here. But if you look, I did get one successfully turned on and wired up. But if you look right here, you just have the housing, which I'm sure through your web search, you know all about. So no must, no fuss. I'm just gonna go ahead and get straight to it. It was a pain in the ass to do. You are going to, the easiest way, honestly, just place it into here. You have a green wire and a red wire here. And if you're probably trying to figure out which wire goes to what, the red wire is going to go to the middle wire of the harness. Let's go over here really quickly of your lighting system here. So you have a black wire, a middle wire, and an outer wire if you're calling the black wire the inner wire. So, and in your, ooh, flies, it's Florida and it's summer. So your harness here has got a red and a green. Just keep red to red and use whatever the hell color you want to for the other one. So all I did, I went ahead, I took black. Black is gonna be not red. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So I went ahead, pre-cut a length, wire cutters. I've got a uh, 14 or 16 gauge. I can't even remember right now. It's been a long day. So I spin mine like that just to give it a nice little cut. Okay, it probably should have gone a little bit smaller. Um, here we go. And I'll do the same thing to the other side just for time's sake. Go ahead and pre-cut it because it's Florida, it's summer, so it's trying to storm. And I'm working out of the back of my TJ to work on the JK. Hopefully I'll be able to speed this up in uh, in the editing. Again, I'll go ahead, pop this on, spin, pull it up, and same thing for here. Pop it in. Spin, pull it up. And for these right here, I'll do the same process, except they are just different colors, different gauges. These are the smaller gauge, so like 2022. So I don't spin those or else I risk actually cutting the wire. Not that I've ever done that more than 10 times. So boom, boom, I splice mine. Everybody splices their own however they want to. I just take, I move one out of the way. I make mine into an X and then spin. You, if you have wire fasteners, if you have your own way of doing it, I don't know why, I just like this way. So I do it this way and then I, tape them together and then I'll flatten it against one of the wires just to secure so you don't have like a little T looking thing. It looks like a continuous wire. Bum, bum, bum. There you go. I'm doing it for speed really not for beauty because it is going to be not visible. So then on this one, you'll take the black wire and do the same however your preference is. Some people like the heat gun thing. I've never used it, so whatever. I don't have the clamps, nothing. So twisty twist. Careful not to stab yourself unless your tetanus shot is up to date. 
and it's not 10 years for those of you who cut yourself a lot, it's actually five. Not only am I a makeshift mechanic, I do trauma on the side. Okay, so, and everybody that comes into the trauma bay gets a tetanus shot. If they pause for more than 10 seconds, when I say, hey, when was your last tetanus shot? If they pause, I go today. Okay. I'm probably not gonna watch this video. And do a little snippy snip. Bring this on over. And here we go. I have got, I guess I should probably find a way to post this up. Can you grab the wiring harness, the extender? One, two, three. Of horrible editing. Thank you. So if you're going doing your LED lights, you're just gonna have this little fella plug it in. It's self-explanatory. You don't need a video on that. I hope. If so, I hope that you have already found what you are looking for. Clip it in, lock it in. Plug this in and if you can't figure that part out maybe you've never plugged anything in, in the past so I feed the wires down to come through the bottom here and then I take my bandage shears upside down just to go ahead and cut straight up the middle of the housing without cutting through the wires. And you're just gonna pull them up and away. So, peel everything away. And there we go. Remember, red for the middle. And we're gonna bring it down there. Wire cutters would have been helpful to bring. So I use the smallest, well, if I pose it right, all right, smallest, peel, and, and I only do one set of wires at a time, I'm not going to go ahead and splice, like cut both and splice both. I saw some people running this to a fuse, some people doing this to other stuff. Not doing that so okay let's just and then I will go ahead and cross these back in here's my two ends and then black for the outside which is the green for the outside and just marry them in do the little twisty twist A little fella hang, get your tape. I'll tape it, squish it down, and then again, I lay this flat so that I can make it a little bit more fluid looking.
Okay, one down and then middle for the red. Again, you just do the same thing. Yeah. Cut. Strip. Strip. Take your remaining wires and marry them in. Splice and twist and all the things. Try to beat the thunder and So once I get done taping, I will go ahead and test it again. I've tested the first one and that's when I decided to make the video and I'm not gonna undo it. So you get one headlight because I'm pretty sure if you have watched this, it has been out of desperation, frustration, or whatever. All right. Hey, baby. Yeah. Can you um, turn the daytime running lights on? Okay, daytime running lights are both on the halo and the um, turn signal. And then can you turn the regular lights on? Okay, and then the high beams, please. All right, and then can you turn the Jeep on and do the turn signal? Yay. All right, there we go. And they just put it all back in.